This is the second web lecture on linear motion titled Acceleration Due to Gravity. This can be very short and straightforward if you just buy into it. The answer is the acceleration due to gravity on Earth at the Earth's surface is 9.81 meters per second squared down. That's it. There's nothing more. And it doesn't matter what it is we're talking about. You could be talking about a brick or um, a feather or a leaf or a person jumping out of an airplane for skydiving, uh, an airplane in the air that its engines went out and it's falling. All of them will fall at 9.81 meters per second squared. So I am saying if you have a brick and a leaf they will both fall at 9.81 meters per second squared for their acceleration. This happens uh, for all objects at the surface of the Earth. Okay, now that's it. 9.81 meters per second squared down. Gravity does not care about the mass of an object. All objects fall at the same rate in terms of acceleration, 9.81 meters per second squared. If you're struggling to understand, it's okay. It did take about 95,000 years for humanity to figure it out. If you remember the experiment, you may have heard of this in middle school or elementary school, where Galileo stood on the tower and dropped two objects. They were different masses, yet they still hit the ground at the same time. So why do things fall slower? It, you don't really need a whole lot of experience to know that if you did have a feather and a brick and you drop them, the brick would hit first. And the answer is air resistance. But if you were to repeat that same experiment on the moon, both the feather and brick would hit the surface of the moon at the same time. You don't have to go that far, though. You could go ahead and conduct this experiment on the Earth if you have a big enough of a vacuum chamber. But for right now, we're going to ignore air resistance. And we're going to deal with that later. The majority of the things that we're going to deal with in this class, air resistance is not going to make that dramatic of a difference in terms of our final answer. So let's run through an example problem. Uh, we have a ball that's dropped from rest at a height of 55 meters off of the building towards the ground. And the question is how long does it take to hit the ground? So let's remember, our givens are initial velocity is 0 meters per second. Our initial y position is 55 meters. Our final y position is 0 meters. So we're going to use uh, kinematic equation number 2. y equals y naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared we have right here final position is 0 initial position of 55 the initial velocity was 0 so the v naught t cancels out the 1 half and negative 9.81 t squared the acceleration is negative because it's directed downwards if we go ahead and move the 55 to the left side of the equation and simplify this portion of the equation we get this right here divide both sides by negative 4.905 you get 11.21 that equals t squared you take the square root the answer is plus or minus 3.35 the ball did not travel backwards in time when it fell so we can throw away the negative 3.35 the answer is 3.35 seconds Thank you for watching.